Yeah, baby! Not too long ago, the rules of a first-person shooter were a bit more... simple than what we play today. The objective was still the same, make your way to the end of the stage and shoot anything in sight, but it was a little less hand-holding, for lack of another term. There was no health regeneration, you had to pick up health packs as well as armor. You didn't have to be as tactical, you could just run through and obliterate all enemies. Granted, you'd still probably get your ass handed to you, but you'd have a bit of a fighting chance. But one of the biggest things that evolved in shooters over the years was the importance of plot. Shooters did have them back then, they just weren't as important or in the foreground. Instead, it was more for a starting point, a reason for the blasting. One of these games that held the classic formula to its heart was developer Crow Team's Serious Sam. Since his first encounter in 2001, Sam Serious Stone's adventures dealing with the evil alien lord Mental has become a staple in the FPS community, with its classic fast-paced action and off-the-wall characters. So, it was a treat to learn that just a few months after the second half of the first game released on PC, Serious Sam would make his appearance on the big green. And thanks to our good friend and patron Stefan, who also happens to be his birthday, he's requested one of his favorite video game series for us to check out today. So, let's see if the big green port of Serious Sam is indeed collection worthy. Seeing as the Xbox version includes both encounters, Serious Sam's plot has our hero dealing with Mental and his alien forces who have returned to Earth after a war long ago to destroy humanity once and for all. With no other options, the humans use the Time Lock, an alien artifact that can send a person back in time. Due to his bravery dealing with the invasion, Sam is chosen to go back in time to defeat Mental in the past, altering history for the good. Like the shooter classics, such as Doom and Wolfenstein, the plot of Serious Sam isn't that, well, serious, and it gets straight to the point, leaving you to get right to the shooting. That doesn't mean it's bad, though. It's still pretty cool to visit different periods in time, even if you're not there on vacation, more to just kill aliens. Speaking of killing aliens, everything's pretty straightforward in Serious Sam. You progress through each stage, blasting monsters apart, and occasionally finding keys to open doors. But yeah, it's about shooting. Hell, there are even some sections where you just fight what seems to be an endless wave of enemies until it'll abruptly stop and you can progress. It may be basic, but oh, it's so satisfyingly fun. You'll have quite the variety of weapons to play with, such as revolvers, shotguns, launchers, a minigun, lasers, a chainsaw, and more. There's also special pickups besides health, armor, and ammo to help you along, like super damage, super speed, invisibility, invincibility, and extra lives. Yeah, you heard me right. Lives. One of the changes for the Xbox version is that a live system has been implemented into the score of the game. The more you score, collect treasures, and pull off combo kills, the more lives you earn, which is helpful when you get overwhelmed. Lives are more like a continue, letting you resume right where you die. Lose all your lives, and it's back to either the start of the stage or the new convenient save points in this version, which are red phone booths. Being an old school shooter, it's safe to say that the difficulty can be pretty brutal from normal on up. But there's been more changes that might help alleviate that. First off, there's an auto-aim to help kill aliens faster, but it can be turned off if you don't need that assistance. Also, and I guess this is more of a graphical thing, but I'll go ahead and throw it here, is that due to the lower memory of the Xbox, the levels aren't as big like they are in the PC version, meaning you'll breeze through the stages a bit faster, if you get past the hordes of enemies. For the multiplayer fans, I'm happy to report that Serious Sam can be played in both 4-player deathmatch or 2-player co-op campaign on either split screen or system link. The deathmatch stuff is your standard shooter free-for-all, and it's fun for a little while, but the co-op stuff is a much better time. Visually, the Xbox version of Serious Sam looks pretty good for being one of the console's semi-first-wave titles. The stages vary from bright and colorful to dark and ominous, plus the lighting effects are pretty good, especially in dungeons. 
And meanwhile, the aliens you face are just insane looking with headless soldiers, big cyclops creatures, giant scorpions with guns, skeleton horses, and more. As for Sam, he's had a bit of a makeover, sporting a more cartoon-like look than the human-ish style he had on PC, something he would stick with for future games. Personally, I think it suits him, especially with his self-promoting t-shirt. You know, it's not a bad idea, come to think of it. As for audio, the music is really good, jumping from melodic tones when exploring to adrenaline pump tunes when in combat with the hordes of mental minions. The voice acting is a bit wonky, as is the case with games of the time, with Sam sounding like someone recorded the voiceover and then the pitch was lowered way too much in post. Just once, I'd like to wake up in the morning and not have to fight off an alien invasion. You know, most people would have run away by now. I will say though, I still laugh my ass off when I hear the screaming of the headless kamikaze soldiers. Hearing their yell from far away and then get louder is just hilarious. And terrifying. Oh, yourself. Sam's Beginning makes for a great port on the big green and is definitely worth picking up if you're a fan of the series and an Xbox collector. However, for those who want to experience the seriousness and don't want to mess with an original Xbox, there is another option. Between 2009 and 2010, Crow Team remade both encounters in HD for PC and Xbox 360 via Xbox Live Arcade, with new visuals and more online features. There is also the Serious Sam collection for Xbox 360. It's a physical copy of both HD Encounters along with Serious Sam 3 and its DLC, as well as Serious Sam Double D XXL. In any other situation, I'd say go with the HD versions, but truthfully, you can't go wrong with any version of this game. It's that good. It's really all a matter of preference. Now being the fun and popular game that it was, Serious Sam was destined to become a franchise, with sequels and spin-offs aplenty. In fact, the next chapter of his journey, Serious Sam 2, would make it to the big green. But you know how it goes, we'll have to wait for this another time. So until then, this is the Dolly Popka saying, as always, stay green my friends. I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want more of me and the Big Green, then click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new content arrives. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons for helping not just the channel grow, but me as a creator. You have my forever thanks. If you're interested in the channel and would like to help it grow further, consider becoming a patron today. For the cost of a soda or an item on the dollar menu, you can help myself and the channel provide the best source of Big Green programming and more. Once again, all the thanks and love. Sneeze. Yeah, it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye.